So in, in high school, I was very much like students at science and math. I took all the hardest courses, and I had a million extracurricular activities. I was playing a varsity sport. I was working. Um, I was in concert choir. I was in, in theater. I did all of those things and uh, got pretty good grades, A's and B's, but um, I got a D in high school chemistry which is really sort of ironic given what I do now that I would get a D in high school chemistry. So I dealt with the D in high school chemistry, graduated from high school, went on to college, and came home at Christmas time and had a decision to make as to whether or not I drop out of college or wait until I get the letter that said, we no longer want you to come back to college. So I made a decision to drop out of college, came home at Christmas time, uh, first semester of my freshman year, went directly to the military recruiting office and enlisted in the Navy. Anyway, after I got into the military, um, I was trained as a hospital corpsman, a, a medic. I eventually worked my way up to working in the anesthesia department. And in the anesthesia, when we put people to sleep, the anesthesiologist would give me chemistry lessons while the patient was asleep. So that's where I learned all my chemistry. In my case, I had a fa basically a failing grade in, in chemistry. Um, but uh, what I learned from that is that it wasn't the end of the world. Um, I still graduated from high school. I still got accepted to college. Um, and even though I didn't do very well my first semester in college, um, what I learned is that uh, other opportunities uh, come along. Um, and certainly what I understand now as a 60 plus year old is that uh, things like getting a D in high school chemistry, things like not succeeding in college the first time around, uh, those are all just sort of minor blips on the road. It's a really long time uh, that you have in your life from the age of 16 or 17 to the age of 60 or 70 when you're done uh, your, your work career. Um, lots of opportunities there, lots of uh, uh, places where you can make up for things that didn't go well at other stages in your life.